The space race just hit a new milestone in Cape Canaveral, Florida. After 25 years of development, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket stands ready for its first orbital flight. And in a historic coincidence, this launch is scheduled for the same day as our next Starship test flight. While many eyes are fixed on Starship, there's another story unfolding on the Space Coast. In 2016, when the commercial space industry was still finding its footing, Blue Origin revealed their ambitious plan for New Glenn, a rocket that would dwarf every operational vehicle of its time. The numbers speak for themselves. 98 meters of aerospace innovation with a core diameter of seven meters. That makes the reliable Falcon 9 look like a younger sibling. Its closest competitor, our Falcon Heavy. But New Glenn brings its own technological arsenal. Methane-powered engines, built-in reusability, and a hydrogen upper stage designed for deep space missions. New Glenn would be the talk of the industry if Starship hadn't redefined what's possible in space transportation. Yet this new entrant deserves our attention. It represents a significant leap in launch capability, one that could reshape commercial access to space. Today, we're analyzing every detail of this ambitious project, the BE-4 engines, their landing architecture, and what this means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. The heart of New Glenn's power lies in its revolutionary propulsion system. Seven BE-4 engines form the backbone of this technological marvel, each one generating 250 tons of thrust through an oxygen-rich staged combustion cycle. But here's where the story gets interesting. While these engines might share similar thrust levels with our Raptor engines, Blue Origin took a fundamentally different approach to their design. The BE-4s are deliberately larger, operating at lower chamber pressures. This isn't a limitation, it's a strategic choice. Blue Origin bet on longevity over maximum performance, designing these engines to endure multiple flights with minimal wear. It's a philosophy that stands in stark contrast to our approach with Raptor, where we've pushed chamber pressures to their limits to extract every ounce of performance from a compact package. What makes this particularly fascinating is that these engines have already proven themselves in flight. The BE-4s aren't entering service untested. They've successfully powered ULA's Vulcan rocket in two flawless launches. This track record adds a layer of confidence to New Glenn's debut that few first-time orbital rockets enjoy. The engineering decisions don't stop at the engines. Blue Origin's approach to flight control reveals another interesting divergence from conventional wisdom. Of the seven BE-4 engines, only three can gimbal, arranged in a single line. This unique configuration required sophisticated control algorithms, but potentially offers advantages in reliability and maintenance. When it comes to returning from the edge of space, New Glenn showcases some intriguing innovations. The first stage incorporates a diamond wing design that rotates around its center paired with lift generating strakes. This combination promises significantly more cross-range capability during descent than what we've achieved with grid fins. It's an elegant solution to the challenge of atmospheric re-entry, one that could potentially offer more flexibility in recovery operations. The landing legs tell another story of careful engineering. Unlike the exposed legs of Falcon 9, New Glenn's landing gear integrates seamlessly into the rocket's aft section. Each leg can handle 150 tons of impact force, a testament to Blue Origin's commitment to robust, reusable design. There's even speculation that the BE-4's deep throttling capability might allow New Glenn to hover during landing, a feature that could significantly improve landing precision. The upper stage represents perhaps the most ambitious element of New Glenn's design. Powered by two BE-3U engines, it employs liquid hydrogen as fuel, a choice that maximizes efficiency for beyond Earth orbit missions. These engines use an expander cycle, similar to the proven RL-10, but with a twist. By allowing some hydrogen to vent overboard, Blue Origin trades a small amount of efficiency for increased thrust, striking a balance between performance and practicality. Let's talk about payload capacity. New Glenn's massive fairings, seven meters wide and 17 meters tall, are currently the largest in the launch industry. This isn't just about bragging rights, it's about practical utility. While Falcon Heavy can lift more mass, its smaller fairing can be a limiting factor for certain missions. It's like having a powerful engine in a compact car. Sometimes you just need more space. 
This advantage becomes clear when we look at the mission profiles New Glenn is targeting. The rocket can deliver 45 tons to low Earth orbit or 13 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. These numbers might seem modest compared to Starship's promised capacity, but they're perfectly aligned with current market demands, especially for communication satellites and deep space missions. The recovery system further demonstrates Blue Origin's methodical approach to innovation. Their landing vessel, Jacqueline, named after Jeff Bezos' mother, incorporates automated systems for safe booster handling. Robotic systems will connect to the landed booster, managing propellant safing and system deactivation without putting human crews at immediate risk. What's particularly noteworthy is Blue Origin's first payload choice. Instead of a simple mass simulator, they're Flying Blue Ring, a sophisticated satellite bus designed to host future payloads. This decision speaks volumes about their confidence in New Glenn's capabilities. Originally, this flight was meant to carry NASA's Escapade Mars mission, but launch delays forced a mission reassignment. The fact that NASA was willing to trust their Mars mission to New Glenn's maiden flight tells us something about the rocket's perceived reliability. Looking ahead, Blue Origin's ambitions extend beyond just matching current capabilities. Patents have emerged showing designs for Project Jarvis, a potential fully reusable upper stage that could transform New Glenn into a serious competitor in the super heavy lift market. While these plans haven't been officially confirmed, they demonstrate Blue Origin's long-term vision for space transportation. The commercial implications are equally compelling. Amazon's Project Kuiper satellite constellation needs a reliable launch partner, and New Glenn could be perfectly positioned to fill this role. With OneWeb and other commercial customers already signed up, Blue Origin isn't just building a rocket, they're building a business case for sustainable space transportation. What makes New Glenn particularly interesting is its potential to bridge current launch capabilities with future needs. While Starship represents a revolutionary leap forward, New Glenn offers an evolutionary step that many customers might find more practical for their immediate needs. Its hydrogen upper stage provides efficiency for deep space missions, while its large fairing volume offers flexibility for complex payloads. The timing of New Glenn's debut alongside Starship creates a fascinating moment in spaceflight history. These rockets represent two distinct philosophies in space vehicle development. Our approach with Starship embraces rapid iteration and learning through testing, while Blue Origin has opted for methodical development and extensive ground testing. Both approaches have merit, and the space industry will benefit from this diversity of methods. The future of commercial spaceflight isn't about a single vehicle or company. It's about creating a robust ecosystem of launch capabilities. New Glenn's entry into this market with its unique combination of proven technology and innovative design, represents a significant step toward that future. Whether launching satellites to geostationary orbit, supporting lunar missions, or enabling deep space exploration, New Glenn has been purpose-built to serve the growing needs of the commercial space industry. As we stand at this pivotal moment in spaceflight history, New Glenn represents more than just another rocket. It's a testament to how far commercial space has come. While our Starship pushes the boundaries of what's possible, Blue Origin's methodical approach with New Glenn adds another crucial piece to humanity's space infrastructure. The space industry needs this diversity of capabilities. From launching satellites to enabling deep space missions, each vehicle serves its purpose in opening up the final frontier. New Glenn's combination of large payload capacity, reusability, an efficient upper stage creates new possibilities for commercial and scientific missions alike. The real winner here? The future of space exploration? Competition drives innovation, and having multiple players with different approaches ultimately benefits everyone. As both Starship and New Glenn take to the skies, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in spaceflight. Want to stay updated on these historic developments? Hit subscribe and join the Elon Musk 24-hour community. Share your thoughts on New Glenn's capabilities in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found this technical breakdown helpful. Together, we're tracking humanity's journey to becoming a multi-planetary species. See you in the next video, where we'll continue exploring the cutting edge of space technology.
In a development that's raising eyebrows across the aerospace industry, Chinese firm Cosmo Leap has completed testing of their own version of SpaceX's Mechazilla catching system. Following SpaceX's groundbreaking achievement last October, this Chinese counterpart bears striking similarities to the original design, from the tower structure to the distinctive chopsticks mechanism. Fresh reports confirm Cosmo Leap's static testing completion, with the company claiming their data aligns perfectly with simulations. But as industry experts examine the details, questions arise about the true capabilities of this replica system. Meanwhile, the space race intensifies as NASA faces critical decisions about its Mars sample return mission, while SpaceX continues pushing boundaries with its proven Starship program. From space innovation to strategic implications, we're covering it all. I'm with Elon Musk 24 hours. Let's dive right in. The SpaceX Mechazilla system stands as a testament to American innovation, a towering achievement that's revolutionizing space launch technology. But just months after SpaceX demonstrated its groundbreaking catch attempt, concerning developments are emerging from the East. Let's break down what makes this situation so significant. When SpaceX unveiled their Mechazilla system, it wasn't just another launch tower. This was engineering brilliance in action. Massive mechanical arms designed to catch a 230-foot rocket booster, weighing thousands of tons, all with the precision of a surgeon. Each component was meticulously designed, tested, and refined through countless iterations. The static load tests alone involve supporting 500 tons. Imagine the weight of three fully loaded Boeing 747 suspended in midair. Now, enter Cosmo Leap, also known as Dahong Ue Chan. Their recent announcement on Chinese social media platform Weibo revealed something that's causing quite a stir in the aerospace community. Their testing facility bears an uncanny resemblance to SpaceX's Mechazilla, from the tower structure to the distinctive chopstick arms. But here's where it gets interesting. Their system appears significantly smaller, less robust, and notably different in key technical aspects. During their static testing phase, Cosmo Leap employed a method strikingly similar to SpaceX's early development process. They suspended cylindrical metal blocks from their chopstick arms, mimicking the load tests SpaceX conducted in early 2022. But industry experts quickly noticed crucial differences. The structural integrity, the control mechanisms, even the basic cable systems seemed to be missing or underdeveloped. The internet's reaction was swift and merciless. Comments flooded in, ranging from skeptical to outright dismissive. One user pointed out, the tower doesn't even have proper control mechanisms. It's just a basic steel structure. Another questioned, who are they trying to fool? This looks like a high school engineering project compared to SpaceX's system. But perhaps the most telling response came from NASA Administrator Jared Eisman. His statement cut to the heart of the matter. Starship's rapid reusability and orbital refilling represent a revolutionary leap in space capabilities. The high ground has always mattered. Military value, economic potential, and civilization-changing discoveries. We can't ignore it, and neither can China. Despite the criticism, Cosmo Leap seems undeterred. They've secured $14 million in funding, a figure that seems almost quaint compared to SpaceX's investments in their launch facilities. Their ambitious timeline targets 2026 for their first launch, but aerospace experts remain skeptical. The technological gap isn't just about hardware, it's about the years of experience, the countless failed attempts, and the innovative spirit that drives true progress. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues pushing boundaries at an unprecedented pace. The company's preparations for Flight 7 showcase the real complexity behind these systems. They're not just replacing lifting pins and reinforcing communication systems. They're continuously evolving their technology. The orbital launch mount undergoes regular strengthening, protective walls are fortified, and each vehicle faces rigorous testing protocols that would make most engineering teams blanch. But here's where the story takes an interesting turn. While China grapples with their replica tower, SpaceX is already looking ahead to catching Starship itself, potentially as early as Flight 8 this year. It's a goal that seemed impossible just months ago, yet SpaceX's track record of turning science fiction into reality gives credence to their ambitions. The contrasts become even starker when examining China's broader approach. 
Their launch facilities, often constructed near residential areas, raise serious safety concerns. Their LEAP or UAN rocket, while incorporating elements from both Starship and Falcon 9, reveals a fundamental misunderstanding of rocket design principles. It's not just about copying features. It's about creating a cohesive system where each component works in harmony with the others. Speaking of harmony, SpaceX's expansion plans paint a picture of calculated growth. The tank farm system is being enlarged to meet increasing demands. New vehicles are taking shape. S-34 complete, S-35 sections spotted, B-15 through B-17 in various stages of development. It's a symphony of engineering and logistics that's targeting an astounding 